comes. Makaya, you are tuned into our favorite sidekick entertainment show, Teenagers on a Mission, right here on our favorite, favorite channel, SBC One, where life and TV are one. Mm -hmm. It's guaranteed to go down. It's going to be an explosive and a great TOMZ show. This is, of course, the best of the best when it comes to sidekick entertainment. Buntu, how are you doing? I'm feeling so great. So right? I'm Pilile Nami, all blacky. It's a choker. It's a brown kid. Yeah. One inspired the outfit. I am a brown kid after all. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> anyway, as you guys see, I squeeze green zen, right? You see us in this very magical place. Mm. And you also see the colors, the objects, as well as the shapes. Yeah, what? I'm going to go around the outfit. I'm going to go around the object, see? I'm going to shape, see? And different colors. Now, all of these things actually form part of our environment. And our environment is going to have a huge impact on how we feel and what we do. Indeed. And that is when interior designing comes into play. I'm going to go around interior design, yeah. they make our inner spaces so much better. Yes, absolutely. I'm trying to get food and I'm trying to get local food to get the people that actually make it happen. Why are we still here? Because you're nice. Let's hear it. Oh. Yes, what's coming up on today's episode of Teenagers on a Mission. We spend most of our time indoors, so how can we improve these spaces? Tola Gabandi from someone who knows what they're doing and is creating the most incredible things out of passion. Do you know what color and light can affect your mood? Hmm? Discover the origins of cushions and see how the ancient people slept. Explore the ways in which tech will revamp our homes and make sure you take notes for the game quiz. Asambin! Oh yes, my friends, it's Figgily Food. Let's just like on us, come on, via our social media pages, my friends. And I'm challenging Buzu to catch us. Figgily, let's just catch us at university. Let's catch us at the Kumlako area. We're not going to watch it. Yo, Banjani. For some colleagues, for two men that would get in, I'll actually put up pictures of my family in my room. Mm, that's very, very cool, actually. We're just going to put it on no law. What do you mean? I'll make sure that my room is painted. Pink because I just love the color pink. Oh yes, we're here to keep those comments coming in on Facebook and on Twitter. On Facebook, we are TMZ on Twitter at Tom's underscore SABC underscore Uno. Right now it's calling to us Bezobona Martin. Oh yes, we still added a game of it with our road show. It's the same after town. Mafi gang, you know how it is. I'm trying to see the city in my long high school. So cool man, I'm a student's but fair too. Fair out time. Fair, fair, I'm fine. Ukrand? I can't. What's your name? Uh Karabun Juv. Okay. So Karabu what you see, What is interior design? Uh, interior design is the design that happens uh, indoors. Uh, yeah. Indoors, uh, design like uh, tables, decorations, yeah. uh, and stuff. Yeah. Uh, interior design is the designs that are found indoors, like curtain designs, yeah. Yeah. chairs, tables. Why, why does our indoor space need to be comfortable, Joe? Um, because it's our homes. If you can be comfortable at home, yeah. It, it, it's bad. Mm. Uh, because in order to see, uh, suit our comfortability, mm. uh, maybe I can say, for example, you are an uh, office worker who you're maybe a manager, you must have staff that can accommodate you to manage uh, your job. Mm. Colors change moods. What's your favorite color? Uh, blue. What does blue do to you? Uh, it inspires me uh, with many things because every time I wear my designs, all, it's always blue. I have a lot of colors in so black is one of my favorite colors. My favorite is purple. Why purple? It's bright. All right, okay, guys, good to our interior decoration. It's all about making inner spaces better. And as in Ghana, got to, I want to learn more about this. Let's check it out. Interior decoration is different from interior design in that it focuses on the objects inside the space rather than on the layout of the space. It has to do with creating and choosing objects that could complement a space well, which includes its color, shape, and style. It's a very, very wide field with job opportunities in a variety of settings like residential or commercial. You can even specialize within a field, for instance, focusing on kitchens or bathrooms. The earliest scatter cushions date back to 7000 BC Mesopotamia, where they were a status symbol. The more you had, the wealthier you were. Amakushin wana from the Egyptian period were made of wood or stone and is where the word pillow actually comes from. They were innovated with feathers to make them softer. Ama Romani Agdala asa mensa ama fountains and mosaics to decorate their living spaces and had very little furniture. They also had couches which doubled as beds, which is why they had lots of pillows and rugs on them. 
And why does it matter in our environment? Well, let me tell you, see, yeah, there actually is a field of study called the interior design psychology. Né? Law psychology actually does research on the effect the environment has on its people. Wow, that sounds really cool, hey? Mm -hmm. Rebecca, I showed you coming on our social media pages. While you do exactly that, we take a quick breather. We'll see you right after this. Oh yes, I'm Zanti. Welcome back to the biggest and the best side take show in the land. Lena BCB, the CB, so get TOMZ. Rachel is ABC1 and Zanti for sure. Yeah, well, yes. What is the fun about about interior designing? Yes, it's a good to cut us in a pocket, right? And we don't really realize how much this affects us. It's so cool. Now, interior decoration can actually help us a lot when it comes to that. I'm mm -hmm. designers, but fit to bring us some objects at Tile to actually change the way we feel in our spaces. Now, tonight, like how we actually went on a mission to find out how this. This really works. Check this out. Hey yo, it's your boy. You know how it is, my fiance. I'm here on another mission, running seats up Pretoria. You need to touch down a whole crew of estate, my fiance. So today we're talking about the great indoor, my fiance. So talking about Mrs. Swami, who actually uses African fabric to do interior design. Guys, I don't know how she does it, but let's go find out how her journey all started. You and me in this mission. It's my game. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. So today you're gonna be my mission. Okay. Visiting you, I'm gonna find out exactly who are you, what do you do, and where are we. So can you please hit us with an introduction? My name is Fiona. Mm -hmm. I am the founder and the director of Sankofa Creations. Mm -hmm. I design interior decoration products using African fabric mm -hmm. and African-inspired products. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Okay, cool. So tell us about your company. Where did it start? When did it start? What inspired you to actually work with African fabric? And what do you do with African fabric? Well, if we go back, 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 mm -hmm. um, it's a passion. Mm -hmm. I studied um, Black Studies, African History, and it's something that I've always wanted to do, and it makes sense to me to, to know about my, my heritage, my culture, and also to expose it to other people. Mm -hmm. So it inspired me to, to share it with other people using the medium of African fabric, yeah. and that's where I've, I've built it from there. Okay, so tell us, what are the, diff the different types of um, designs and crafts that you do? All right, so the material I'm using at the moment is it's mainly from East Africa and Central Africa. Mm -hmm. I do have a few fabrics from South Africa as well. Mm -hmm. So what I do with that is um, I'm using it for the home because mm. that's where people are like comfortable and relaxed. Mm. So it's, it makes sense that you put it in the house and then they'll look at it and it's like, okay, yeah, this is where I belong. And like, it makes people start to think. Mm. So I also use it to design um, framed fabric mm -hmm. and when I say that what I mean is that I'll I'll see the fabric and I'm like what do you want to be what do you want to become you know so I'll, I'll cut it out and then there's a textured background and yeah and then it looks good on the wall mm. and it's a reminder like you're in your own world you've come back from work you just one one two three but you look up and you're like okay mm. all right I'm at home and really I'm at home because I know who I am mm. yes all right come through This is amazing. This looks amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so tell me more about Sankofa. Where did the name come from? Um, how's the future looking like? All right, so I learned about uh, that word when I was studying um, Black Studies or African History. Mm -hmm. It's from Ghana, from the Akan tribe. And basically it means that you need to go back to your past, mm. go back and learn about your history, or as an individual, when you're living and you're you're trying to be better, go back to your past and like look at the lessons that you've learned mm. um, and make them work in what's happening today. Okay, so let's talk about the different types of, of, of fabric that you use. Mm -hmm. And where do you make your own fabric? Do you buy your fabric from somewhere else? I source my fabric from East Africa at the moment, from East Africa, mm -hmm. so Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, mm -hmm. um, and also Central Africa, East, uh, Sorry, West Africa as well, mm -hmm. and then a bit of South African fabric as well. Mm -hmm. So, really, it it speaks to me and my experiences what I'm using right now. Mm. So where I go, like when I understand how they make it and why they make it, 
because a lot of these fabrics, um, some of the women actually, they make it by hand mm. in a village, in a rural area. And like we get it and it's like, okay, yeah, you don't think about those steps. And it's like the culture of that village, the culture of, of those women and how they've gotten to be at this point, you know? Mm. So for me, it's, 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 it's extremely important to um, showcase how beautiful it is, how there's, there's art in everything mm -hmm. that, that we do. Mm -hmm. um, because art brings life, it brings joy and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And in this world that we're living in at the moment, it's, there's so much going on. Mm -hmm. So we need that, mm -hmm. that kind of like that joy yeah. here and there just to like, you know, yeah, I can do this. And the, and the nice thing about art is now you can actually um, open a business. You can yes. become a business now. Umasebega Amakala, we tend to see them just as they are, but we don't realize that they actually have a huge effect on how we think. Red, for example, brings about strong emotions and encourages appetite while hindering performance on tests. Because it is a color of danger, a bound to fear failure when they see it, and so don't perform as well on tests when writing them in a red room. Blue is a color of calmness and lower appetite, while also making people really productive. So this is your work? Yes, this is my work. Okay. These are wall hangings. Okay. So basically it's like you just you stick it on the wall mm -hmm. or with, with nails. So these are wall hangings. Yeah, yeah. and then um, we've got the the cushions, which are one of my favorites, actually. So it's like, uh, I've got an eye for something that will stand out and just be there. So mm. like I'll choose the fabrics, but I'm, I'm open to uh, people choosing their own fabrics as well. Okay. Okay, so is this material the same thing? Is this from East Africa? They're both from the same place. Do they represent different meanings? No, they're different. I okay. believe these two are from um, Nigeria, Nigeria, yes. Okay. These are from okay. Nigeria. Mm -hmm. This one is from Congo. Okay. So yes, it's it's different countries, and yes, they do re represent different different meanings. I always want to know how do you like tell the difference? Like if like if I would see somebody in the streets wearing this, how would I know this is from Nigeria, and how would I know that this is from Congo? You wouldn't know. You I wouldn't would. know. It's it would be that point where you need to be like an like an expert, expert, expert. Okay. Because even for myself. Mm. I wouldn't know just because I know where I'm buying my stuff and I know who's providing it for me. Mm. You wouldn't know because the patterns are similar and remember Africa is it's quite connected so they, you might even find this in Nigeria, you okay. might find this in Congo. Okay. So it's uh, it's more about just like we're one and mm. whatever makes sense and whatever is beautiful, yes, okay. it stands out. So cushions and wall hangings. I've also got um, kaftans. So this is an example, I'll just stand up if that's yeah. fine. Okay, so this is a kaftan, mm -hmm. and basically it's why why like I love this product is because you can be in the home, you're just lounging, maybe you're you're cooking or you're cleaning or you're just relaxing. It's like but it's comfortable, and what's also nice is like one size fits all, so it's very loose, very very comfortable. And then um, I've also got. So this one was inspired by the kimono bathrobe. Yeah, so it's just put it on. Yeah, very comfortable and the design is actually it's taken exactly from the kimono styled um, bathrobe. So it's very comfortable and people love they love this one because it's it's African fabric. One of the things we don't often think about in spaces is light. A man do need natural light not only to survive but also for their emotional well-being. In natural daylight helps to stimulate the serotonin in our brains, helping us feel happier and more productive. If rooms are dark, we will more likely feel depressed inside them. Light also affects our sleeping cycles. If we are exposed to bright light before bed, we are more likely to struggle to fall asleep and our natural rhythms will be upset. And that is why it's better to avoid your phone before bedtime. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, you should never, and I mean never, paint the room you study in for for school red. Exactly. So, I'm going to go to school and I'm going to go to what you guys think. Because social media pages are Z. This is a buya. I'm going to go. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. 
your best side take entertainment show in the land, my fair to TOMZ. Mm, I'm cool and I'm trying my fair to stick it to double internet design. And you was feeling I'm trying to was coming interior design. I'm sure you actually feel excited because as a teen, Lando yes impact a song. Okay. With that being said, my first look at the moon to get on up and below quite patient when it comes to interior designing and my object a corner. Check this out. And how does the business work? How do people get hold of your 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 arts, your products? Alright, so I do work from home. Um, at the moment, I'm working with my sister, Edith. She's the creative director. Mm -hmm. So what we do is, uh, the both of us, we will design the stuff that we want, that we see other people would, would, would like, and we design, then we outsource. Mm -hmm. We've got a tailor that does um, basically the, the cushions and the kaftans, the kimono-styled um, bathrobe, mm -hmm. the dira, and it could go beyond. Um, but our plan at the moment is actually to expand that um, to actually get other artists involved mm. because I believe very strongly in empowering other people. Slowly we're trying to just establish like a network um, because I feel like I've got exposure mm -hmm. where um, I can help other people. It's not easy, it's, it's actually it's quite difficult but when you have a dream and you've got a passion and you, you can see the end goal in your mind but you, you don't know exactly how to get there. Mm, 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 mm. You will attract people that will help you yeah. to get there. Man, 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 and Donna, I am so inspired by Fayette. Ah, ha, ha. Now, Mzansi is so rich when it comes to heritage, and Donna. If you have a dream and you want to use everything that Mzansi has, all you got to do, Donna, is just persist, work hard, and focus. Otherwise, this is what we call mission accomplished, and Donna, your boy C A W D Y, pronounced Katie, is out of here. Oh yes, my face, so that Denise Bugala like us coming an interior design. It's high time that we put your knowledge to the test, my face, with our TOMZ quiz challenge. What's got that? Obani also manoba when it comes to the TOMZ speed round master. It's about to get lit. Let's play the TOMZ quiz challenge. Yes, yes, my fair too. Now you guys know that you guys are very special to us, and that's why I took into two things. And le, am I a long secondary school? Lights, camera, action. I hope that you guys are ready to experience the ultimate entertainment. Now, my fair knows what the science is a system that we use to better understand the universe. Now, my fair, we know the old saying, right? Knowledge is power, and with this power, we can give birth to great future leaders. So we handed out some awesome books that will empower the learners and leave them motivated. Lady Martigay can also assist the learners with career guidance as this is the time to be thinking about your future. Now we've got to ask what this TMZ wouldn't be TMZ without the dance of challenges. What's going to happen? 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 Okay guys, my Milan Guti Leke Emi Jalaganji and yeah, cool. You've got two buzzers in front of you. So this is how it's gonna work, you know? Don't buzz my question, guys, ne? The first team to press the buzzer gets to answer the question, ne? Yes, my friends, we tested the knowledge with the TRMZ quiz challenge where you saw a team B winning the first round. Okay, my friends, we have come to the second round of the TOMZ quiz. And now it's good to keep on. Lena gets CB is in knockout challenge. So, guys, you guys are no longer a team, ne? So, what's going to happen, young Zunbuzi question, my friends? So, the first person to press the buzzer gets to answer it. If you get it right, automatically, the other person gets knocked out, ne? Question next time, my guys, you have a fair to The amount of light you see before bed doesn't affect your sleeping cycle. Is this true or false? Press the buzzer if you know the answer. Okay, sis, one. True. True. And the correct answer is. Dun, 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 dun. It is false. Ah. So you have to move all these different color puzzles. It's fair when you log, ne? You've got two minutes to do this as well. The faster you do it, so that's Katsako, so it's fair with TOMZ log. Speed round master, ne? So if you do it quick enough, you get to be on top, you get to. Co-host, I'm a present over to UMZ. How fresh is that? Yeah, it's very, I'm very excited here. And your time starts now. Now, if you find TMZ is a school and soccer, all you have to do is simply slide in the DMs. Alternatively, Lashanga email on times at sabceducation.co.za. Who knows? Your school might be next. Be quick, be quick, be quick. One minute gone, one minute gone. Ah, 
Well, congratulations! You have won the speed round master, and that can only mean one thing and one thing only. Your name goes onto the TMZ log where you stand a chance to become a guest presenter right here on TOMZ. Yes, well, I did it here. Okay, okay, well done for getting this far, Mrs. Swam. I want you to look at the camera, Uzi. Hey! Ish. Hey! <laughs> That's how we ended my video. So, this is the TOMZ quiz. Until next time. Okay, guys, this Fundika Banzinges get her cushions for more than 9,000 years ago. For to say, as good to sing about, we always need a place to leave. So, in the interior design, how is it going to come about in the future? Let's check it out. And technology is making our homes smarter with more tech installed to control interior conditions. Smart objects are also built into furniture and objects like kitchen counters. As houses become smaller due to population growth, interior objects also adapt. Virtual reality is making it possible to experience a space digitally before Iakiwe. And more design elements are becoming sustainable that is being recycled or made from sustainable materials. Mm. Oh, what's up? I'm Nandi Like I'm a fit of Spoon Digger Bands in your interior design. I hope that you at home had a splendid time watching ETM Zinjang and Italians. I'm a fit. Thank you so much for watching the biggest and the best side ticket Jamie show in the land. Nikumu, look at guys. Wow, if you want to change your life, let's go change your environment. Find out more on www.scbseducation.co.za forward slash TOMZ. Absolutely, my fit. We must follow on our social media pages on Facebook. We are, of course, TOMZ on Twitter at Tom's underscore SABC underscore Uno. Did you have a great time? A wonderful time. I trust that you at home Changed had... my interior. Mm. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I trust that you at home also had a great time and uh, hopefully your interior also changed. With that being said, my so that's how we wrap things up. Thank you so much for watching TMZ. Goodbye and have a fantastic afternoon. Here's what's coming up next time on Teenagers on a Mission. Check out what's possible when passion and craft meet. See the process of creating something beautiful and discover how craft can change a life. So look about how wood goes from tree to table. Craftsmanship is an old idea. See how it has evolved. Take a peek into the future of this amazing topic and see how much you know in our famous quiz. Now, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. We're live and TV. Come on.